Hiya. So the video you're about to see wasn't recorded for YouTube, it was just for my relatives. But I really want you to see how British school looks from the inside, like classrooms, buildings, houses and everything. I've recorded it when I was at school, I'm in uni now and it's been two years, so I have no chance to retake it. Um, so I hope you enjoy what I have. So I went to Mill Hill School and I moved to a new house in my second year because it was recently refurbished and we were the first ones to live in this house. Uh, to get into any building in my school you had to know a passcode for that building. That's the back of the house, my room window and a little backyard that we had where we could chill. So that's a room in my first house, so I had a bed, table, a chair and a wardrobe, that's pretty much it. The second one was similar but a bit newer. And that's the view from my window, that's a little backyard I told you about. Then the corridor, and next to my room I had a bathroom with a bath, toilet and a sink. And right opposite it there was another room with a toilet and a sink only. Then common room with sofas, and we also had a book where visitors and guests had to sign in when they come. Also we always had fresh fruits like bananas, apples and oranges, then juices and flapjacks for snacks. In the kitchen we had toaster, oven, microwave. In the fridge there was food that everyone can take, so it was like milk, cheese, meat and yogurt. And if you buy your own food you have to write a name uh, like this, so no one would touch it. My house was really close to the sixth form center, which is on the left, and the art and DT department, which is on the right. Also, on the second floor of the sixth form center was a drama studio. Sixth form center is a building for people who are in their last two years of school. Uh, basically, we could just come and chill here, and we also had computers to work. Next is a library, and then opposite the library there was music school, where everyone can just come and play, for example, like piano. Then we had science building with biology, chemistry, and physics. And opposite it was a fable, where basically every other subject other than science would take place. Next one is chapel, and then this one is like a computer building, so it's like a computer classroom. Then this is a library, the second one, but the first one had more books, this one had more computers in it. And this is like another building with computers, and in all three of them computer science would take place. Now let's look inside Fable, which is for all the other subjects other than science. On the ground floor we would have history and religious studies. On the top floor there were business and economics, and on the bottom languages. Then through this little corridor we are going to go to another building, which is for maths and I think English. Then on the left there is a huge room with like a stage, so we would have concerts and exams in it. So right now there are lots of desks for exams. Uh, in front of us is this math building, so maths would be upstairs and downstairs, and English would be downstairs as well. That's how a normal classroom looks like. Well, basically just chairs and desks, nothing special. Then another path to another building, like the main building. On the right you can see the stairs to the basement, there are a couple of classrooms there as well. This has a long corridor with offices and meeting rooms. This is like the, the main area. Uh, on the left is the main entrance, on the right will be headmistress slash headmaster's office. And also on the right is a dining hall. So it's like pictures of X headmasters on walls and then yeah that's pretty much it then if we turn back upstairs are day houses they are for pupils who are in school just for the day who are not boarders um, they would have like common room office lockers and stuff in their houses on the right there is space for bags so we are not allowed to take our bags inside the dining hall if we leave this building we will see the top field which is like the main field for rugby or any other games that take place in our school. That's a path to other boarding houses, so they will be like 10 minutes from the main building. Then this is the main building from the outside. And that's the path to medical center, so basically if you break anything or catch a flu, you would go to the medical center. 
And that's the swimming pool. I just didn't know where to put it because it's like a separate building. So I've put it at the end. And to be honest, I forgot to record the last part of the video where I say bye and thank you for watching. So I'm just gonna show you a couple of videos from my two years in Mill Hill. So if you did like the video, please hit the like button and subscribe for more videos about London and UK education. If you haven't seen my videos about how I moved from Siberia to London when I was 15, IGCCs and my first year in the UK, it will be somewhere here. And the second video about A-levels, party time in London and how I failed my exams, well, it will be somewhere here as well. Thank you. Bye.